Hey, Southern E-Biking here, coming to you today with a little bit of a product. I run across this on Amazon, and I thought maybe some of you guys might be interested in it too. Whoa, what is this? Well, it's a bike stand. As some of you know, I've taken my Trek Marlin custom built and turned it off-road only. That means that I had to get rid of the kickstand on it. So I was leaning it up against the wall there uh, in the shop, and I really didn't like that. So I found some way of dealing with that. So let's take a look and see how it works. Now this is a very complicated piece of equipment here, you know, and to work it, you gotta be ultra careful and you, well, okay, maybe not. You just slide the bike into it just like that. And it holds it really well. When you're ready, you just slide the bike off and you go to town. Well, you know, most of us do not have smaller tires like this. So what about the bigger tires? Well, let's see what we can do if it'll work on them. Well, here we have a little bit of a bigger bike. This is a three inch tire bike. Will it work on that? Hey, works on that one too. You know, I might have to get another one just for this bike because, you know, I've talked before, I hate that stupid center mounted kickstand. I might just have to get that for this bike. Uh, but yeah, same way. Roll it right on, roll it right off. Well, you know, Blaine, that's real good for you because you got that, you know, three inch tires and two and 0.35 tires. How about we all, all the rest of us, we got 26 by four inch. Let's see if it works on those. Well, here we go. Now we got the three or the four, 26 by four inch tires. Now I can tell you right now, if you look at the description on this, which we're gonna post a link to it, it says up to three and three quarter inch tires. It's a four inch tire. Will it work? Well, I'm here to tell you, it does work on the four inch tires as well. So it will work for you. There is a caveat when you're using it for the four inch tires because I have, I'm just gonna roll this off like I did my other tires here. And it's probably sometimes well, it, yeah, it's caught that time a little bit. So sometimes it'll catch like that, sometimes it won't. So typically what I would do, well, I would be standing back here, but I wouldn't have the wall so close, but I'll just stand right there and pull that bike off. Now, if I were gonna use that on this bike exclusively, what I would do is I would bend these two rods out just a little bit and it probably wouldn't take much that it would work on a four inch bike as well. So yeah, it's about a $30 bill. I don't have the exact cost with it uh, uh, here right now, but I felt like it was a good deal. I wasn't even gonna bother doing anything on this, but I thought, you know what? There may be some of y'all that could benefit from this as well. And so why don't I go ahead and share it with you? You know, it, it doesn't, doesn't cost anything to go ahead and let y'all see what's available out there. So yeah. That's, that's, it's got a permanent place in my barn for at least my off-road bike. So that's gonna wrap it up for this one right here, Internet. Uh, like I said, we'll throw a link below so you can go check that out for yourself if you're, if you're interested in it at all. And yeah, with that being said, hit the like, hit the subscribe, yeah. Uh, you know, I had to pretend Michelle was here. And that's gonna wrap it up for this one right here. So. Till next one, Internet, Southern E-Bike and telling you, stay safe, God bless, and keep the wheels rolling. Once again, we're out.